let's add a new Xamarin Forms application that will act as a client for this hosted web API project. For that here, I'll go and add a new folder, which will be specific for my Android or for my Xamarin Forms application projects. So I call this mobile apps because my Xamarin Forms application will include four projects. So I want to put them inside one same folder instead of having all of them under my uh, solution. Now I'll go and right click on my folder. Then from here, I'll choose add new project. And from here under Visual C Sharp, I'll choose cross platform. So if you don't have Xamarin Forms already installed in Visual Studio, make sure you check the um, Xamarin Forms when you install uh, Visual Studio. So if you don't have it installed, actually you can go to here tools and select extensions and uh, updates or get tools and features. Then from there, you can check Xamarin Forms and Visual Studio will try to download all the bits and install Xamarin Forms for you. Once you have done that, now when you do add new project, you'll find that here you have this menu right here under Visual C Sharp, which is cross platform, which is specific for Xamarin Forms. You will also have Android if you want to build uh, applications using C Sharp that targets only Android. It, it means it won't work for uh, iOS, it only works for Android. But with cross platform here, the application that we'll be building using C Sharp, it works for Android, iOS, and also UWP. So we choose cross platform, then we choose here the first template because the second one is for creating UI tests. So we choose the first one for creating a new Xamarin Forms application. I call this one to do app. From here, I choose which platform I want to target. So here I check the three platforms, Android, iOS, and Windows. And here I want to use Xamarin Forms instead of using the native library, which here will help us to uh, share not only the application uh, logic code, the business logic, but we'll be able to also to share the uh, UI or the user interface of our application. So we don't have to implement a user interface for Android and re-implement it for iOS and for Windows. For the code sharing strategy here, we'll be using .NET standard, which is now is getting more support from, uh, from Microsoft. For the template, we'll start by a blank app template so that we can understand how the things uh, work together for, to create a Xamarin Forms application. So we'll start from a blank app. Hit OK. And now the creation of project is uh, started. Once the project is created, we see that here Xamarin Forms is actually four projects instead of one. So here we have the first one, which is the .NET standard project called it Todo App. And right from here, we'll be writing the shared code for the business logic and also for the user interface. So here where we put our uh, interfaces and our uh, view models. We do also have a second project for Android, which is here targeting the Android platform, which contains the uh, almost the same uh, application architecture as a native Android application that is written using Java or Kotlin. So here we have the main activity, and the main activity here it contains the properties that we already uh, use in a native Android application. So here it sets the icon, the application name, and also the, the theme. On the onCreate method, here it is calling the app which lives inside the PCL project or the .NET standard project. The PCL actually is the old model, now we are using the .NET standard. So if you look at the web, if you are looking for questions, then make sure you select uh, .NET standard instead of PCL. So here, 
The app.xaml.cs is like the entry of our Xamarin Forms application, which will launch the main page. And the main page is the first page that will appear in our Xamarin Forms application. Here it just contains a simple method saying welcome to Xamarin Forms. So the main activity here will launch that page. For the Android project also we do have um, a folder for resources where we put the application icon uh, for different uh, resolutions. We also have the assets and so on folders. The same almost for iOS. So we do have the iOS application. We do have the main.cs and also we do have the app delegate which will launch the forms user interface here by calling the app the same we do have the resources which contains the different icons for the application so if you need to change the icon for our application then we need to do that from by changing those icons here inside the resources folder and the same thing for the uwp application here we do have the app .xaml.cs which will launch the app from the Zama, from the .NET standard project. So here each one of those projects have a reference for the to do app. For that here if I expand the references you see the reference for to do app. The same for iOS. So if we expand the references then here it have uh, the reference for to do app so that it can call the app.xaml.cs Cool, so now we have our Xamarin Forms application targeting Android, iOS and UWP. So if you want to run the UWP application, now all you need to do is to select the UWP platform right from here, then you click local machine or you click a five button from your uh, keyboard and if you want to run the android project then you change to android and here with android you can either select um, you can either select um, let's say uh, an emulator that you need to install or you can also select a real Android device as I do here. I'm selecting my Samsung uh, device by doing that I Can run the application directly to my device here how I did this so my device is now connected via USB to my laptop and I have also uh, installed the ADB driver to my laptop so that it can recognize my device from Visual Studio. So to install the ADB, you just need to look in, uh, or to search uh, to Google it. So you just write the name of your device. If you are using Samsung, then you write Samsung ADB, and then it will give you the driver and you install it in your uh, laptop. And here we can see the application displaying the message Welcome to Xamarin Forms running on Android device. So here I'm sharing my Android device screen through a software called Visor and if you, you might want to, to use this software if you are doing a presentation or so on. So you, you can get that software from this web page right here. If you go to uh, visor.io uh, then from here you can download this free uh, version of Visor. Now, what if you want to test this application on iOS device? So you can test it on iOS simulator or you can also do with iOS device. Let's start by the iOS simulator. So here I am running a Mac. So I have a Windows virtual machine running inside a Mac. So I need the Mac in order to uh, compile and build my iOS application. From within, within Visual Studio, I can connect to a remote iOS simulator. 
so I just need here to configure to iOS and from here I get this icon right here telling me that I'm now already connected to an iOS uh, machine so if I click on that icon here it displays to me all the Mac that I have on my uh, network and here I'm connected to this one you can add a new one by clicking add server and then you put the IP address or the server name of your Mac OS you can get that IP address from Mac so from within Mac here you can uh, you can go to um, system preferences and within system preferences you have here the sharing icon so if you click on that then you will get here the IP address for your Mac you copy that then you reuse it right uh, from here you click add and then the server will be added right here once we have done that from here now we can say we want to uh, deploy our application to uh, an iPhone through the Mac or directly to the iPhone simulator in the Mac so I select here iPhone simulator and now I can get all the iPhone simulators available on my Mac machine with different versions of uh, iOS here I'll choose the latest iPhone X I choose it then I hit run and this will launch the iPhone X simulator in my Mac machine so the application launches and it shows the same message welcome to Xamarin Forms with this way we did launch the application on a simulator but you can also launch the application on um, on a real iPhone device if you choose right here iPhone then you select your uh, iPhone that should be connected to your Mac machine using USB uh, device or USB cable another remark before ending this video is that here I'm using Visual Studio in Windows environment but with uh, with Mac you can use Visual Studio for Mac and from there you can create Xamarin Forms application and you can also run your application on Android uh, emulator on Mac or iOS simulator also in Mac but you cannot run UWP uh, projects